What's going on YouTube? It's your boy back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Ubisoft and the Division. Now as you guys know I put in about 120 hours on the Division at this current moment of making this video. But the reason I'm making this video is because I'm seeing some stuff on the forums and in the threads and people are tweeting me and texting me stuff. And um, I'm sitting here saying to myself, wait a minute. The Incursion 1.1 update for The Division, which is the first DLC that they decided to release, they're saying that now they want to punish people for doing exploits. And I'm a person who chose to play The Division on PC. So right away, I kind of found this to be very ironic, considering the fact that um, exploits mean that your game is broken. And um, if your game is broken and people have found exploits, gamers do that uh it's like mario that's like saying people who got the 99 levels or should i say the 99 men on mario for stepping on the turtle shell the iconic trick that was in the game to level up you're gonna punish them for it but that's like the game contra when you do the left right up down trick to get the extra men you're gonna punish them for something that's in your game um i find that to be ironic considering they are people in the DZ who are teleporting, who have infinite bullets, uh, one hit kills, all kinds of stupid shit where they're actually hacking the fucking game. Um, I can't tell you how many videos I have of people just like flying around like they're on surfboards and shit and, uh, you know, not dying, taking any damage and shit like this. And they're like popping ults for like one minute and all of that. All this crazy shit that, that's going on. So pretty much I had to make this video because I found it ironic that Ubisoft would do this. And me personally, um, I'm hearing that the incursion was so hard on challenging mode that when they released the DLC, nobody at Ubisoft could actually beat the game. They could not beat the challenging mode. So people found a way to beat the challenging mode with exploits and you guys want to punish them. But meanwhile, you have people that are actually hacking the division and Rainbow Six Siege. And when I say hacking, I mean to the point of tournaments, people at tournaments using cheats, hacks to, to cheat and getting caught and everything. And you're talking about exploits? Man, listen, what about those people who farmed that Hornet exploit and they were getting like all these gold drops and they were on the dog's own picking on people? And you have people who actually hate this game because of this. Because they ran into people who were cheating one or people who use these exploits. And now somebody who's using an exploit to do one mission, which pisses me off. Because that makes me think that you wanted people to really sit here and play this one stage in this game. And you didn't think they were going to get tired or bored of it. The incursion is okay. But man, after like one or two times a day of that shit, you're gonna, that makes you put the game down. So don't be relying on one incursion mission to hold this game over it, talking about you're going to punish people. So I wanted to make a video talking about this because everybody knows if you follow me on Twitter, um, I, I really, like, I ride or die for that joint, man. I'm always bigging this game up. I'm always giving it props. And then I see this, and I'm like, I had to give him that face, bro. What? You're going to do what? Nah, I know you're not. Y'all not going to do that. So at the end of the day, I just wanted to make this video to be like, y'all better not do that shit. Y'all better cut that out. No way in hell y'all better do that. So... Um, I'm very disappointed in Ubisoft for this. The fact that they were even talking about it. I saw it in the forums and Ubisoft said themselves they are looking to find ways to punish people under the terms of service for exploiting the incursion mi mission specifically. And I'm sitting there like, wait a minute. All those motherfuckers who killed Bullet King a million times, all those motherfuckers who killed Hornet a million times, and if you're a fan of the game, you know what I'm talking about. Those are two bosses that they killed over and over farming for gold items, which are the highest items you could find at the time. So now they have green items and people find a way to exploit that in the incursion for those of you who don't actually play the game. So I'm sitting here saying, man, this is going to make me stop playing this fucking game. Because first of all, it's not fair to people anyway who were playing to begin with. But you didn't worry about that then. You want to worry about it now. So that's, you know, I don't know. If this keeps continuing on... I'm going to boycott this fucking company for 12 months. I'm going to buy another one of the games. I buy all the Ubisoft games. I buy shit I don't even play because I like the company's games. But this is really ridiculous. You better punish hackers. You better start worrying about them hackers first. Because I've seen it firsthand on numerous occasions. And uh, it's, it ain't pretty. But anyway, it's your boy Jimmy B Gaming. I'm out of here.
Let me know what you think in the comment section. If you play the division, what console do you play it on? What platform do you play it on? Have you seen cheaters? Because there are a few on console, but believe me, I'm not going to sit here and lie and damage control PC. PC has the most cheaters I have ever seen. So let me know what you think in the comment section, man. I'm out of here. Peace. Exactly the same as far as the edges and the way that things reflect. Now, the game should be around 1080p, but this is not confirmed. On my display, it did register as 1080p on both consoles.